So the Elgato HD60 is a game capturing device specifically designed for next generation consoles. That's your Xbox One, your PS4, um, your Wii U, but it's also backwards compatible with things like Xbox 360 and PS3. The whole idea of the game capturing device is that you can capture your game footage as you're playing uh, and either upload it to YouTube or you can even stream it live to services such as Twitch and Ustream. So the Elgato HD60 is an updated version from the original Elgato HD. Um, the main difference being that this one captures game footage at 60 frames per second rather than 30 frames per second, meaning you know better quality for PS4 and Xbox One. So in the box you get your game capturing device, a HDMI cable and a USB cable. Now the USB cable is what connects the device to your laptop um, and it's a really good length I think um, it, it means you don't have to have your game capturing device right next to um, your laptop, so you've got a good distance between them. That said, uh, the HDMI cable that they supply is quite short, um, and the one for my TV uh, was also quite short. Uh, so, if you're planning on stretching this all across the room, you might want to invest in two longer HDMI cables. Before setting up your device, the best thing to do is download the software ready. Um, the software is both PC and Mac compatible and the download link is in the description. So now that you've downloaded the software, what you want to do is test the software. Uh, I'd suggest that you set the whole thing up um, and then test your settings. I, I had a lot of problem with the 60 frames per second thing, so I end up recording at 30 frames per second even on PS4 or Xbox One. That mainly is due to the fact that I'm using a 5 year old MacBook Pro to edit. Um, even though it meets the minimum requirements, it still isn't great, so it really does struggle with that 60 frames per second. So, once the software's downloaded and you've installed it, you want to go ahead and open it up. And over here on the device, you'll see that there's a little tools icon. Uh, this is all your settings. Uh, that Here's all the presets for um, all the consoles and stuff. Uh, you can also set it to other which lets you customize some things, you can crop it. Um, I have mine just set to PlayStation 4, 1080. Uh, I uncheck the allow 60 frames per second, obviously, because I have issues with that. And I have my quality between good and better. Uh, that just means that I get no lag in my footage at all. Now, here you can name and tag your video, add a description ready uh, for uploading. There's also live streaming options. You can add your commentary here. And over here you've got your edit tab. And here you can load up your previously recorded stuff and your share options. So now that you've got your software sorted, it's time to set up the device. So to start off, you want to put the HDMI in from the PS4 or whatever device you're using into the inside, that's the left hand side of the game capture device. And then you want to put the out HDMI in the right hand side, which then connects to your TV. What you then want to do is take the USB Plug that into the side of the game capture and plug it into the side of your laptop. As you can see it's lighting up. And it's working. Now the biggest problem I have with the Elgato is the delay in what's shown on your TV screen or your monitor to what's shown on your laptop screen. Um, I've messed about with the settings as much as I can, I've changed loads of different things, but there is always some aspect of delay, as you can see here. So, as you can see, the footage is pretty good. I mean, that's 1080p at 30 frames per second. As I said before, my laptop struggles with the 60 frames per second, but it still looks pretty good. 
uh, and that's with uh, the quality bar pulled right down so it's just above where it says good uh, on the scale um, so you'd think the quality would drop but all that you really see a difference in is the smoothness that the footage comes out at thank you for watching I hope this has helped you out um, if you could hit that like button subscribe share thanks